What was that? I just heard a knock. Sorry, little chess. Ruby, you better not be digging. But check on her. Our dog has got extremely dry skin from change of seasoning. And uh, she likes chewing on herself. Hiding her head under the blanket. Okay. She's trying to be good. So, last night, I took some chicken breasts. You can get them at Walmart. Or Sam's. We go to Sam's and get our... It's where we get our meat mostly. Sam's and Johnny's Meat Market is where we get our meat at now. And, um... Got these at Sam's. They was on sale. I think it was $1.98 a pound or something like that. So I took some chicken breast last night. And I put some butter on it. And then I put some, um... Longhorn, Yellowstone Longhorn seasoning, a little bit of liquid smoke, some a little bit of salt, garlic, and black pepper. And I let it marinate. That's what these look like right there. They're nice and marinated. It's, you want them to be marinated because um, we're going to do grilled chicken alfredo today. But I'm going to use my George Foreman. I got a big giant George Foreman. I'll be showing you guys that. People are asking me to show more of the when I put it on and stuff like that. I know you guys want me to. So I'm going to try. But I'm just letting you know. The kitchen is not big. So this is the reason why I sit in my seat and do a lot of my videos. Is because my kitchen ain't that big. And it's hard for her to be... Right over me, especially by the stove, because we got the refrigerator here. We got a countertop, and then we got the freezer right there. And it's hard for her to try to get the camera into the shot. And I apologize about that. But I will show you that I'm putting it on a George Foreman. I got a very old George Foreman. It's like the very first George Foreman that came out. A friend of mine gave it to me, and he said he never used it. And I'll tell you what, I've been using it for the last four years five years last five years i've been using this and i'm gonna tell you what if you can get a hold of a good george foreman i don't care you can get the new ones or you got the small version then you got a big version and if it's just you get one of the small ones but i'm telling you what it's the best way to get good meat cooked and it doesn't take long like i could cook a steak if i want it medium it only takes like two minutes Two to three minutes. But if I want it well done, it only take like five minutes. Well done. You can ask these guys, to, and it'll come off juicy and everything. My steaks come off nice and juicy and every time when I cook them on George. I don't know why, but they're awesome. Just like my chicken. This chicken breast here, if you fried it or baked it, it would take at least 10, 13 minutes tops in an oven. On George, seven minutes. That's it. That's all it takes is seven minutes on George. So if you can get a hold of a George Foreman, do it. It's cut your cooking time maliciously down half. I mean, big time. Because why this is cooking, I got noodles I got to boil. And I've got some Alfredo sauce. I love this. I get it at Walmart. Bacon flavored Alfredo sauce. They love it. But I add a little bit of garlic to it and um, white pepper to give it a little bit more flavor because they complained about it last time. It says it needs a little bit more zazz. That's, that's just my kids. I'm just letting you know. Maybe you guys are a little bit different, but my kids, when they eat food, they, they let daddy know that it don't taste like daddy's home cooking. You know, they let me know. So, in a minute, I'm waiting for the water to start boiling over here. Once it starts boiling, I put the noodles on. Then we're going to go over and put the chicken on the grill. Hmm. What? My phone does not like to be moved. And we'll show you. 
I'll take it with me if I have to. It won't stay on the stand. You take it off the stand for a little bit. But, yeah, it's... I wish you guys could understand that. My phone does not like the stand that it's on. And I cannot go and buy a new one. We're just a beginner YouTubers. <laughs> I know we don't have no fancy equipment. All we got is a telephone. So we use one of these. She's got one using her phone. Um, I just work hard to try to do these videos and make you guys happy and show you guys quick, easy meals. Um, but I'm going to still try to show you. Um, got, got winter flies coming in. I hate winter flies. They drive you nuts. You have to put out these little... I mean, back in the old days, you used to pull these things down. Fly obviously. ribbon. Yeah. And I don't have any. You used to put them in this dang tray every time. This time of the year, it, the flies come in and bug the hell out of us. And you're probably hearing my washing machine going in the background because I cleaned up my laundry room and I found a bunch of dirty stuff in there. So that's why you're hearing that. I'm on load four right now. Soon to be load number five. So and then I'm gonna plate up the I'm gonna put the I'm gonna plate the dinner a little bit different tonight. Um, I'll show you that. It's gonna be a little bit different for you guys, so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, taking pictures of it after the end of the video, it'd be kind of hard because. The phone that we use to do our videos is with her phone. And um, her phone does all the editing and everything for the videos. We don't cut anything out. Everything's raw. Um, we don't... When we say we'll be back in a few minutes, it's back in a few minutes. We will show you the next part. It's just our videos are not cut. Anything's not cut out. Not one bit. It's all... Straightforwards and raw, um, and that's what I like about my videos. I like to show you guys from start to finish, and just like this, this is chicken marinated, and it's the best tasting stuff ever. I'm not trying to tick anybody off. My phone is very what do you call it? Picky. It, it, that stand she has for it, it's uh, just a little stand. I have to fight it for about six minutes to get it to stay on there. It is fights us. I don't know why. That's why I don't move it because it will fall right off. But I will take it over there and show you guys everything. I'm just waiting for George to heat up and the water to get ready to boil. Once the water gets boiled, put the noodles in, then we'll go to George. Because these are very thin spaghetti noodles and they don't take that long to cook. I don't have another stand for my phone. And it don't help that, that it's phone case. It's slick. Yeah. So if my comment makes anybody mad, I'm sorry. I'm irritated with my phone and my phone stand. Please understand that. But we do love you all and all the comments you give us and everything. We do love it. We try to do what we can to make everybody happy. Mm -hmm. We try. And there's some things that is a little bit harder than usual. Like, once I get me, a, we're looking for a different place. Once we get a better place, a bigger place, um... We're going to make sure the kitchen has an island where I can put in a little small two-way burner stove on the island at the end so we could show you guys the videos a little bit better. That's what I want to do. And that's going to look stupid. I'm just making the videos better. With it being on the island, you're, it's going to be focused straight across at the stove. It'll be on a better stand and I can just shove it across. See how argument she can get with me? <laughs> I 
I'm designing the kitchen, not him. I'll design my kitchen. No. <laughs> I know what works. Trust me. She doesn't know a chef's kitchen. You're not sticking anything in the island but a dishwasher and the sink. <laughs> you guys like that? She likes to argue. Today is her argue day. She's grouchy today. Because of the comments she got today. And she takes it out on me. So I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. I gotta check and see if this water's ready. Yep. You doing the whole box? Yep. Other pan on the stove is the dog's uh, supper. Another pan behind it is my teeth. Yeah. Sounds like they're home. I found this on the stairs. I took my five dollars. Now that's it. Mm -mm. You're only taking five to the dance. Mm. You can save that dollar and spend it someplace else. Give me a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Kids got home, and I'll show you the on the grill in a minute. So I'll be back in a few. Peace. And this is the fun part, trying to get them on the door. All fit at once. More pieces of chicken. Throw that on there too. And anyway, I have to have a tray. There is a tray for these, but they didn't came with one, so I, had to, I use a sheet tray underneath of it. This is an old George. This is like, I think early 2000s, I think. So, it's a pretty nice George. So, got that on, got the noodles on. And then, um, we'll get the table ready. And maybe talk to you guys before we get it. Plate, while we're plating up. And show you guys the plate up stuff. So we'll be back in a little bit and show you guys that and show you show you this getting pulled off the grill and everything and showing me how I'm plating it up and everything right here at the table. So I'll show you guys that. How's that sound? So I'll be back in a little bit. Peace. Okay, y'all. Here's the chicken. That's what I'm going to do. My tongs. So here's the chicken. Look pretty, guys. Hope you guys like this. I'm gonna go grab some parsley, show you guys some sprinkle pretty sprinkles on it for you. Oh, yeah. 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 
this for a little bit of reading. It's for calling. That's all we're trying to do it for. So what I'm going to do, take Turn a little oregano on it. There you go. So plate this up. You take this. Reach over here. Grab your piece of meat. Get it off to the side. You can take tongs if you want to. And spin them. Or you take the tongs with the noodles like that. Put your pasta there. I'll put the pasta on top of your meat. And then take your meat. Lay it across it sideways. If it'll like stay. It's like that. So. There's the plate of the food. Does it look pretty, y'all? Let you guys see that for a little bit. And then I'm going to say. So, uh, what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to do it a little different. Take the pasta. Are you giving him the small piece? Do you want the small piece? I'm not going to eat a whole piece. You give me a whole piece, I have to share it with the dogs. <laughs> oh, I like that, yeah. Yay! He used to eat the small pieces. He doesn't like the small pieces anymore. Down one side. See how pretty that is, y'all? I'll do one more. Let's say, So, Uncle Hibble can do his own. While I'm doing this, can Little Hibble do a prayer? He walked out of the room. Little Hibble, can you come and do a prayer real quick for us? Yes. Two hard things for food. Some of my family is better for food. So, everybody is me and my sister. Amen. Thank you, little hair belly. Super hungry. There you go, guys. Is that pretty? I hope that shows you guys how the dinner looks and everything. We appreciate you all. And like, subscribe, share us out. And sorry about it earlier. Um, it's just been one of them days. So we love you all. God bless. Peace.